Uh, my name is Zororo Makamba and I am a filmmaker and TV presenter. Right, so we, we in Zimbabwe just had our annual National Arts Merits Awards and it's uh, organized by the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe and it's pretty much uh, the Grammys of the art sector and it's an opportunity for everyone to get recognized from uh, theatrical to TV to spoken word to music. So uh, tonight with Zororo was nominated in the uh, television category for outstanding uh, TV production and we won. So it was a fantastic uh, feeling and great way to round up what's been a, a hectic first season of learning and, and shooting and sort of getting out our brand and, and what we're trying to do. So yeah, it was, it was a great way to, to get things going moving forward. I think going forward we're going to have a discussion with the channel to see what worked for TV and what didn't. Um, the program was unique because we put it online, but it got a lot of momentum and attention and then went on to TV. So obviously some things may have worked and some things uh, probably shouldn't have been there. So I think just a, a quick recap of the first season uh, and then we'll take it from there and hopefully we can uh, do this year in and year out for the next couple of years. I did radio at university in my last year and I moved back to Zimbabwe after graduation and I used a mixtape of like a uh, compilation of all of my programs on student radio and I gave it to the guys at ZFM. Uh, they liked it and in doing so I pitched a sponsored radio program uh, that I wanted to present and that was sort of my way to ensure and guarantee that I got onto radio um, and that worked because stations like money and uh, from there I guess it, it, the rest was history. I presented radio for two years but I'm a very independent person and I felt that I had enough of a platform uh, to express myself and people got to know a bit about my brand and my views so I broke away from radio uh, not intentionally, but I just wanted to try something new. And that's when we shot tonight with Zoro. I think there's two things. Um, that people should, shouldn't be afraid of your dreams, but your dreams should scare you. And I think the biggest thing is that they, people get bogged down in the aspect of the fact that it's large and it's, it's scary and a lot of work needs to be done to it. And, you get caught so caught up in that process of how do you just clear the first hurdle, the second hurdle, the third hurdle, that you're not even really starting with just what you need to do and get going. And I think um, your dream should scare you, but not to the point where you don't even get started. And once you do get started, I think it's important that you carry on because nothing is easy. And if it was all easy, I think everyone would be doing what they want to do and the world would be a much peace, you know, peaceful and rich place, but it's not because it's definitely, you know, definitely difficult. So people need to keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, keep going. Great question. Uh, ZBC has no money. And the format for television usually is that the um, TV station would advance you cash and they recoup their money back into advertising. So we were in a position that we couldn't even get the show off the run because the kind of quality that we wanted to produce it at, they didn't have the funds for it. So I had to approach sponsors. And what I did is I was saving my paycheck from month to month so I can produce a pilot, which we shot in the living room because that's all what we could afford. And we took that pilot to sponsors and then said, would you be able to support a program of this caliber and pay uh, for the production for 13 episodes for one season? And because the pilot was good, they agreed and they bought into our vision. And therefore, we didn't have to worry necessarily about the TV channel giving us money because we got the money um, to produce it. So it's unique because it's not supposed to work that way. But then again, when you're starting out and you're an entrepreneur, you have to think outside of the box and, and be willing to take on some of these risks and get corporate buy-in, especially in Zimbabwe where you know TV standards have been low for you know a number of years and people have I've taken notice, but I think quality at the same time speaks for itself. So we had a great uh, collaboration with Nafuna TV who produced the show. Um, and yeah. I think for, for media related, 
I think it's important to figure out which companies have a strong focus on media development with regards to their corporate social responsibility and look to a lot of NGOs. Um, I know the big festivals in Zimbabwe are, are funded largely by you know, embassies and NGOs. And if that doesn't work, then look online. There are hundreds of um, associations that give grants and there's a specific focus depending on what you're looking for, if it's uh, women in film, if it's uh, African Americans, if it's, uh, if it's international students, if it's something that's focused to America, and you can really sort of find out what they want for you. And that's a resource that a lot of people tend to overlook just because there's a lot of info that they need from you. Um, but if you're willing to do your research and you have a solid plan and a solid treatment and idea for what you want to film, um, you could definitely get up to you know, 50,000. Uh, to produce whatever you want. So I think if people look at those three things, um, with, including obviously channels, etc., cetera, um, they should be okay. Growing up, I actually wanted to be the fastest man on earth. I was very passionate about running and track and field, and that was really my God-given talent until I got a knee injury when I was 17, and it was a nagging injury that was persistent. And I just said to myself, I have to do something else. But in the same spirit, I was that guy who was, you know, nine years old, hosting my own version of the Jerry Springer show. And I'd use the remote as my microphone. And I'd interview my friends. Um, and it was wild, rowdy, Jerry Springer at night, but my version. So I guess media in the end sort of worked out.